Well, good morning, guys. It's day three of the Mid America Truck Show. Didn't start recording outside because the wind's blowing and it's cold. And no, I didn't bring the cold here. It's like, it's like freezing cold. But anyways, so we're inside. I'm gonna go get pictures of the trucks outside a little later, but. Check this one out. <clears throat> and I wonder, what do you guys think of the no emblem look? Me, I think they need to have an emblem. Represent who they are. I mean, don't get me wrong, it looks cool, but it's a Pete, so it should have a red oval. Or a black oval that says Pete, but. And uh, this kind of looks like a legendary paint with the metallic in it. It could be like, um, you know, the uh, black diamond. I like to do the black diamond in my trucks because, um, well, it's got lots of metallic and yet it still looks black. But uh, this is kind of cool. They went old school, put door mounted mirrors on and it's a def truck. So it looks like a 379, but it's not just a 379, but it's a 370, 389 made to look like a 379, but very nice, very nice. You know, and this is clearly a, a working truck, <clears throat> but uh, look at how shiny the wheels get. Like, I don't know if I could ever make my wheels shine. Well, I guess I could, but man, they're shiny. The guys that polish down here are just amazing. Just unreal. But, you know what, hats off to all the guys that, that put trucks in this show because uh, they work their butts off and, uh, and it shows. But, um, yeah, beautiful truck. Beautiful truck. I'll go find some more trucks because, you know, it's a truck show. Look at these lifts. Now, the big YouTubers like um, uh, Bruce, uh, I think he was sponsored by Ben Pack for a set of truck lifts. And how awesome would it be to get sponsored for a little help to get some lifts like this? Because, man, oh man, imagine what we could do if we had this for rebuilding the trucks. Like, I'd be handy dandy. Like putting the transmission in? Putting the transmission in? Well, actually it would have been harder because you'd have to lift it up there. But, I mean, once you got it under there and got it up, well, you know, then it'd be easier to do up those bottom bolts. But uh, if you wanted to grease your truck, look at that. They got these brakes caged off. I wonder why. Interesting. Make sure I don't get dripped on by some grease. SPL drive line. These boots are a bit of a bugger. Almost looks like it could use a new boot. Do do to boot it. But that's cool. Very cool. I'm back at um, over by where the blue cab over is. <clears throat> I don't know if I really showed you guys this truck so much, but check out those wheels. I'd be curious to know if they if they get them like that or if you take it to a machine shop and get them cut down. But I also really like the LED on the side of the grill. I don't know how well they are. When I say how well they are, I mean like how long they last. Yeah. But um, <clears throat> I would love to have a 389 <clears throat> Lord like this, you know, for um, like a, a, a daily driver because it's like getting into a pickup. Or we make Smokey slammed, so Smokey's like getting into the pickup. Almost, I mean, you know, but. So this truck, looking at the frame, she's been, uh, I don't know that it's been stretched, but she's a long girl. <clears throat> Should get some fenders like this too, but um, here's a nice W900. Now you don't see as many W900s here, but uh, there are a bunch of nice ones. The one thing that I don't like about the W9 guys in the aero cab is the way it, it slopes up like that. You know, personally, I prefer the older W9s that were flat hoods. I like the flat hoods. And this is a 100th anniversary truck. So, it is a pretty truck. The front end on a, on a Kenworth W900 is definitely iconic. So, they do look good. The one problem, 
with the W900s is they crack right in there. At least they, they do on all our bush roads. So. Yeah, she's a beauty. Just a beauty. There's the 100th anniversary badge. Yeah, so here's an old W9. And this is this is like what dad had back in the day. <clears throat> so what year is it? 96. So it's a little bit newer than Wow, it's a little newer than the ones we had in the 80s, but No, we had a well yeah, 96. Yeah, mine were 80. But we had a 90. Well, mine was a 2000. What was Oh no, the we had a 99 W900. And that one had a cat jake and retarder but um in a million kilometers yeah in a million kilometers but i much prefer the flat hood i mean this is a short hood w9 but but yeah i really like the the flat heads <clears throat> what i like about those at the time it was 45 dollars for a windshield and you could change it in about an hour yeah well and that's people's biggest complaint about the the new 589s and stuff is a one-piece windshield because you can't just change them cheaply and they're glued in so you got to take it to the glass shop i think part of the reason why they do it is it's actually easier for the factory to put them in because it's done by a robot not a person but i don't know person could glue them in too so and we're back to another i think i did a little bit on this one a model W900, it's got the Kenworth 8 bag, and a lot of bolts in the frame. Which makes me guess it would be stretched, but maybe it had a, you know, looking at that, it it probably had a, a lift axle at one time, I'm betting. Guessing, guessing I'm betting. But, uh, yeah, beautiful. Just, that's cool. With those yeah, it's a double frame. <clears throat> or an insert, anyways. You know, I'm not a fan of blue, but I'm a fan of this blue. She just pops. I also like the old school two inch uh, cabin sleeper skirt lights. That's, uh, although, here's a problem. The lights don't match. I got those, don't match those. Anyways, the truck is cool, other than that. And she's a long hood. <clears throat> you don't see long hood W900 A models that much, so. so yeah, she's a pretty truck. She's a pretty truck. I guess you can't find these lights anywhere. Yeah, they're like gold if you could find them. Yeah. Especially if there's new old stock. I don't know. If anybody has any of these lights, you know what? I know my brother would like some, so. <clears throat> but yeah just gorgeous and of course there's the k100 that is somewhat matching the big rig barbie's truck <clears throat> it's um interesting to see this because yeah, well, they're fiberglass. Well, fiberglass, or plastic, same thing. But you know, they painted this themselves, and it looks pretty darn good. I mean, you know, you got some dirt in it and stuff occasionally, but uh, it still looks awesome. And well, you know everybody what? that works in a professional shop puts their pants on in the morning the same way you do. Yeah. Yeah, true enough. Painted the dash silver. Some nice low back legacies. His legacies look good. Maybe we should get some for, uh, for Smokey. Here she is. But check it out. That's kind of an interesting slider. Oh, what kind of suspension is that? I don't know. But, uh, so check out this old KW. Needle nose. I need dad to find out what year it is. It's 
kind of cool because that kind of looks like the uh, 100th anniversary truck. So this one must be a 250 Cummins too because it's got the decompression lever. It does, it does. Skinny exhaust. <clears throat> Two speed. Yeah. Very cool. Rubber block. This almost looks like an old logger. You know that? The way they got, well, it's obviously, oh, I was gonna say it's an aluminum frame, but they welded the seam together. That's interesting. No maxi pots on it either. One set of maxis. Yeah. It didn't have maxis on all four wheels. I was wondering how that fifth wheel is sitting there. Maybe those bolts go right through. It's probably a quick change. Yeah. But maybe it is. She's a pretty truck. It's an old fuel tank. Oh yeah, the she's got. Go right through. They go right through. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay. It's got some weird thing on the slack adjusters. I don't know what that's for, but. Uh, we open the door? Wow. That's beautiful. Yeah. What, what that is, is they used to have a like a cylinder up here, and they had a line going back to the slack adjuster. The oh. maxi was actually up here. Oh. With a cable to the slack adjuster. And the maxi was up here. Yeah. A form of maxi. Okay. Well, there you know. Now we know. That's a D. This is the Okay. Are these the same transmissions that these guys outside are putting in their truck? No. Outside the double stick? No, because this is an 8,000 pound torque. And the new ones are 1,200, which are light for the new engine. Right, but are they good? Yeah. Out there too? Putting behind the door truck there? Yeah. They just put a 1241. It's hard to find. And they'll use an air shifter instead of uh, yeah. linkages. But. Yeah. Right. Right. See, we went to 10 and 2 at a 2-speed accelerator rather than a 4. Right. Because with a 10-speed main, you don't need right. that many gears. And like our trouble used to be, you couldn't get a high enough top end and a low enough bottom end. So that's why the two transmissions. Because like an 8341, yeah. an 8341C has a 90 under. It's only got three progressive, not four. I think I think this is a D. Yeah, it's a D on it. And it could be a four-speed progressive. But our, all all our logging trucks, we had the C, which give you the 90 under. So you go first and first. You get out and walk, take a leak, jump back yeah, in. You yeah, have yeah, to walk really away from it. This one wouldn't have that. Well, this is, that's a progressive. And it all depends on what it has for rear ends. <laughs> the ratio, right? Yeah. And see, we used to have 754 rear ends. And like the drive line is spinning really fast. And the auxiliaries yeah, used to gas be. Or diesel. Pardon me? Gas or diesel. No diesel. With hot. two transmissions. Oh, yeah. But see, the transmissions used to get so hot you couldn't put your hand on it. And the drive lines fly out regularly because the drive line's turning so fast. And at one time we were at the Kenworth factory and they came with the gauge for the transmission, the rear ends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they said, well, how do we get it to cool down? He said, take your sledgehammer or your ball peen hammer and give it one smart tap. 
on the gauge. On the gauge. If you put your hand on it and it burns, it's warm. If you if it, you spit on it and it sizzles, it's hot. And if it sizzles well, without you, you spitting on it, it's really hot. It's really hot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't even know how to drive this, do you? I've never driven one of Dad's a wealth of knowledge on these old things because this is where he cut his teeth. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, and this is a decompression lever right there. And that's a decompression lever right there. Ah, uh, wait. The tranny might have been a Mac, but it could have been quite well. Yeah. Yeah. But like we used to have lots of drive line problems. The drive line turned so fast. But to try and get 70 miles an hour, plus a really deep bottom end, you had to have two transmissions. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I figured. So. Well, I know the concept of it. I think it's yeah. What do you know about water brakes? Turn the water on, steam comes off, and you stop. Yeah. Okay. You scare hell out of the tourists behind you. So what? What? Did, was there a solenoid? Or a you know, you, what you had is a, a, a set of taps in the cab. Oh, you actually? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You tank. You had what you had is you had two taps that go up to a T and then yeah. down to your brakes. A little bit But you had an on-off valve, just so you turn it on or off, and then you can adjust how much or whatever. Well, the tank was a pressure tank. Oh, they built pressure. Uh, like 15 pounds. Well, anything over 15 pounds has to be a pressure vessel. So there were 15 pound tanks, 15 pounds air pressure. And that's what pushed the water back. I'd like to find. And then, like, the only thing is, like, with water, all it is is a chunk of uh, tubing with a nozzle. With you grind it down, bend the end over, squeeze it. Yeah. And yeah. just on the brake yeah. It works good. Yeah. But now you don't need it. Now you have, well, we never had front wheel brakes either. Right, right. And uh, now you have front wheel brakes, you got a jade that will take care of it. Yeah. yeah. What about the front wheel brake, the lever? Well, we had max brakes. Like, like these aren't original, these are MGMs. And we had the original Maxi. Okay. And the original Maxi was around round can with a uh, diaphragm on top. Like these are the new style of oh, yeah. Like this has all the new humming in it. This, this is original. That, that is because one style of Maxi was mounted up here and you had a cable over there. So that was not the emergency room. Well, it was, but the, the, this, instead of being a maxi like this, it was just a, an air pod up here with a cable to it. So it pulled the brake on and you hit the maxi and pulled the brake on. Which is basically the same as what those yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah. Until you broke the cable. Right. Which, of course, after a while they get rotten and rust and go to put the maxis on, it goes bang, and then you don't have them. Yeah. Or you don't have one. Yeah. <laughs> and we never had maxis on the back axle. And like this one doesn't have maxis on the back axle. So do you sell to the logging industry? I mean, well, I do. I don't sell. He sells. I he sells. Okay. Yeah. I just did it for 58 years. Okay. <clears throat> Is there still equipment sitting around 50s and 60s? There's some. It's, Some of the see, the trouble is, is when scrap metal gets yeah. crazy, all the old stuff yeah. disappears. It's, it's like the salvage companies went into all the old logging camps and cleaned up all the, yeah. the old log loaders and trucks and so everything. You just have to either know somebody or drive around yeah. for days. Or find it. In someone's backyard in a grassy field and... Uh, but... Tank? Was it a brown tank like Somewhere. This? Some were, okay. some weren't. Whatever could be pressurized. 10, yeah. 15 pounds. 
like we had the full water tank, you know, like it was like a cab guard water tank. And they were about, about that thick, and they came down and sloped back. Right. And depending on how you mounted them, of course, with the twisting lookout, they always used to crack and break, and you'd have water leaking out. But you always also had a tap on the bottom for drinking water. And we used enough water that it was clean. Yeah. yeah. So you just have a tap. Yeah. And like, we're, they were paving one time where I was hauling, and the girls on the flag crew, they just about chew the tap off my water tank every time I stopped in the middle of summer. Which was good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They say the good old days, but they weren't. Oh. I wouldn't trade an old truck for a new one, other than maybe this one. <laughs> yeah. For shows, but like for working. And they were so goddamn hot you couldn't stand it. And uh, no such thing as air conditioning. And then, like my 73, that air conditioning could only work for a week. Yeah. And quit. And it cost a goddamn much to fix. You never bothered fixing it. So we didn't make a lot of money at the time. Yeah. It's like I look at the way the guys bling these trucks out now. And they're making way more. If they can afford that, they're making way more than we ever used to. I had one chrome stack and everybody thought, oh wow, look at that, he's got a chrome stack. Yeah. What about chains? Do you carry chain, chains on? We carry chains all year round. Just because if you leave them hanging on the truck, you know where they are. <laughs> and like, right, and like in British Columbia, we have to pack chains, I guess, what, till April? Yeah, end of April. End of April. We have to pack chains yeah. from October till the end of April. Okay. And that's mandatory. Yeah. And so you just leave hanging on your truck year round. Do you do dual chains or just Oh yeah. Okay. No, don't bother with singles. They're just a waste of time. Because all you do is chew a hole in the pavement, it's still stuck. Or the gravel or whatever. Yeah. Chain all four of them? I have done. It's just a job. Yeah. Mind over matter. If you got no mind, it don't matter. <laughs> well, just to like so much depends on what you're doing. Like for us, like off highway and, and you know, big loads, you don't screw with singles for the most part. If you're running like say highway at you know highway speed, which you can't do with chains on, but you know, like I went to uh, I stopped at Mount Chass, I had a bus for a motorhome. And they had the chain up signs out. You can't go unless you chain up. Well, I had a set of singles. And so I lifted my suspension, put the singles on, pull out in the highway, state patrol went by and he's looking and I had my chains on. And I wasn't worried about the snow. Because I could have pulled a super train over the, over Mount Shasta without chains and never had a problem. And I'm looking for snow so I don't bugger up my chains. And these guys are going by me. Oh, you're trying to drive them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Otherwise, you're just bugger up your chains. Yeah. These guys are going by me with broken cross chains, just bang, bang, banging on stuff. And... But then we got down to ready, fueling up, and I'm looking at some of the truck's tires. Ready, California. Yeah. And they're all garbage. They're all flat, all gas tires. And there had to be 70 trucks parked waiting for them to take the chain up. I mean, I chained up my bus just for shits and giggles. Yeah. On the other side, we got out. Look like this. Oh, yeah. And he was going at the five minutes. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I've been out here forever trying to get Well, I was. I didn't know. I took a load up over the Coca Hell, and the chain up signs are on. And I had a tandem Jeep. I was right and full on all in my axle. And I had to chain up. I stopped, chained up, and was gone. These two high milers passed me coming up the hill. Of course, they've got their big fancy truck. They pull in. They're getting out and they're putting their coveralls on and their gloves on. I'm chained up and gone. And then going up the hill, I'm passing guys because they're in first gear. They don't know what the hell they're doing. And like, I got, I'm heavy. It's not like I was light. And I'm out passing them. Got to the top of the hill and it starts spinning. Up. <laughs> and I didn't check this one out guys this is cool remember the truck that i took of um 
well, you guys don't know, it's Greg Zorb's truck, his little Kenworth that I wanted to make into a, or he already made it into a pickup. I wanted to drive it. Daily driver, but this is kind of like that. Pretty cool little truck in the Lincoln Chrome booth. Little single axle. I like this deck. It's pretty dang shiny. <laughs> Oh, it's only money. Isn't that the truth? This is a nice one, too. This is a uh, little Kenworth. Oh, look at those taillights. Are those taillights? Wow, that's cool. That's cool. <clears throat> and so is this. I mean, it's a newer W900, but she's pretty fine for W9. <clears throat> Check that out, eh? You know, this one doesn't look too bad to me. I, I'm not a, like I've said, I'm not a fan of the hoods that slope up on the W9s, but, uh, but this one, it doesn't look quite as... Doesn't look quite as uh, in your face. And, I don't know, what do you think about that grill? I'm not a huge fan of the, the Kenworth Emblem grill. Because that's all little KWs. But little bugs. Right? This, they've <coughs> taken and lengthened out the swoop. Well, I was wondering, but this is a long hood too, so. Oh, well, maybe. Maybe the swoop doesn't look as swoopy. Or maybe because of the color. I need a bench like that. That's a good idea. A bench made out of bumpers. Except mine, you'd get you'd get rust blisters in your tushy. Yeah, but you can also grind down data. It's true. I don't know. Did I get this truck kit, guys? This one is. Oh, oh. like you know, you just can't beat a P. Like, look at this. Look at that. That's beautiful. Beautiful 389. You know, the 389, that's why I say there's only one king and that's Peterbilt. Cause that is just, yeah, that's gorgeous. Really cool that it's got this old um, motometer temperature thing on it. That's worth a few bucks. They had those on the old cars. That was like your, your thermostat, your temperature gauge right on the radiator. She's a looker. She's a looker. Now, yeah, so this is a 359. Probably has a Corvette dash in it. It it almost looked like a 389 grill, but, but looking at the classic 359, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. That's pretty. Very pretty. Not often that I describe a truck as being pretty, but she's pretty. All right, here's another fine W9. The big shack on her. She's got a big shack. Look at that. That's a nice toolbox with the steps on it. Tall toolbox. Kind of a vintage looking sleeper the way they did that. Very cool. <coughs> Excuse me. I have to apologize for all the snooting and snorting and coughing, but. Actually, that looks pretty cool. The clean, what's, it looks different. What's different? It seems more smooth right there. No name. It's flat glass. Yeah, what size are those? 295 60R22s. I should put those on the front of uh, Smokey. Get her sitting down on the ground. Look at that. Oh. 
You know, the light, the five lights in the center is starting to grow on me. I don't mind that. Don't mind it at all. Scoop by here, guys. Oh yeah, that's an interior. It's nice. Not gonna lie. It's nice. Look at that I kind of, I like those chrome buttons. Chrome buttons are pretty cool. It's pretty swanky. Yeah, I know. That is the easy ride. Our ready ride. It's a nice bunk. Oh man, this is a beautiful truck. Look at that. old school cool right there man that's beautiful and you know what it's got 285 7524 that's kind of cool because they're more of a low pro 24 maybe I should just do that with Smokey is put 24s on the front but get a lower profile tire but yeah those look like the those are the glass watermelon lights, the good ones. Wow, this is a brand new truck, but it totally looks like a 359. That's awesome. Where did they, oh yeah, there we go. There's a depth tank. It's made to look like the fuel tank. It's got a skin on it. Well, that's an interesting way of doing it. Huh. Very cool. Yeah, she's got the classic look for sure. Classic look for a new truck. I can't get over how much stuff is here. Like, they've got toys and models and uh, like everything from wash brushes. There's lots of like, uh, vendors from China that are selling like their LED lights and like look at these these are cool oh, they got cow overs wow I'd love one but I I can't pay 39 bucks for one right now 38 dollars US because 38 bucks US is yeah that's like 75 bucks Canadian guys are back outside now we're gonna check out all the outside trucks oof oof to me Ooh, look at that paint it's like pearl I don't know if you can see it but it looks good I like those step treads too oh look at this frame paint like my gravy that is so nice. Very cool. Look at the attention to detail to keep it neat and tidy. Oh yeah, Jade Transport. That's cool. Some straight pipe laters. Oh, look at that green. Look at that. Gotta love the sparkles. <laughs> of course, we covered this one. I think we covered this one on day one. Little day cab Pete, 362. It's very cool. Here's Bruce Wilson's other truck. I think the one he calls Brutus, but he went logging in. But now they're uh, doing some towing, which is kind of cool. It's uh, a newer Pete. Got the track kit on it. I've never actually seen anyone use these tracks, but but yeah, they're cool. Bruce's got a lineup of people to meet him. 
Oh, which way do I go? Maybe I have to go like this way to see them all. Okay, well, let's check this one out. This is, this is gorgeous. I like it. It's kind of a cool way of doing it. It's got like the old school marker lights. I used to hate trying to fix those bulbs in those ones. But it's a newer truck, but it looks like an older truck. Very cool. It's an homage diff. Some paint job, I say. That's some paint job. We need sparkles. We need the sparkles? Okay, you heard it here first. Andrea wants sparkles on her truck. It looks like an old one, but she, she not. This one is not. It's got clean idle. So it's, you know, clean, idly, idly cleany. This is a Peterbilt 352. Ours are 362s, but that's nice. That's very nice. Great paint job. Very cool. Old A model, 1968. Looks like she's got an N14 in her. Another 389, or 379, or a 389 made to make like, oh yeah. Green. It's awesome. There's another W9. Don't like those wheels, just gonna say it. Just gonna say it. Might not be popular. I like those wheels. Just simple and round. Feet ovals. Now that's a 359 or a 379. I don't know. I can't tell. <clears throat> yeah, it's a 379. Just kidding. Haha, <laughs> I can totally tell. Pretty purple. 389X. There's a lot of the bow tie style visors here. For the old look. Huh? Big stereo is a little bit excessive, I think, though. Just saying. <laughs> That's cool. It's got old school mirrors on it. Very nice. another truck that smells good inside lots of custom work so here we are at the back end of the uh, Peterbilt 352 I think dad's just looking at how they got the air intakes mounted because it's one thing I'm gonna have to do to Smokey is add an air filter because the air filter for Smokey is uh, got a hole rusted through so but Get all the turbulence behind the cab. Yep. Suck in all the dirt. Oh yeah, never thought of that. It's a nice one. Another 389X. Looks like legendary paint in my opinion. Does it does? It's beautiful. Beautiful! Look at these deck plates. I wonder how they mount. Everybody's got these Frenchy deck plates that sit down low. Must do them up from the bottom side, but uh, those are those are cool. Another 389X. Well, here's a 379. That's cool. 
This color on this one though is just popping. I like those steps. That's that's a thing of beauty right there. Another one. There are trucks everywhere. Andrew doesn't like the stripes on this one. Oh, that's cool. He's got a little mini pickup truck on the back of his. It's very cool. There's a Cabover over there, freight cab over. When I say freight cab over, I mean Freightliner cab over. But, uh, yeah, this one she looks a little different. <clears throat> this is beautiful. Oh, this green. Look at that. That is nice. Yeah, beauty looking 389. Another 389X. There's definitely lots of X's here. <clears throat> kind of surprising, kind of not surprising. But, and another 389. Look at that one. White engine. That's cool. <clears throat> That's pretty. It's a whole bunch of work right there. That's a new truck, so. <clears throat> Must not be very old. A very old build. There's a new 589. It's a good looker. I like that. Red bug screen. Yeah, that looks good. Nice W900. <laughs> Another purple. Purple 379. Actually, it's a 389. Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna stop. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Nice green color. Kind of looks different with that visor being so low. I just don't like how it kind of overhangs in that corner there. Doesn't quite quite match. It looks too low. This is cool. This is nice. The black one. You don't see too many. Well, I was gonna say this must be a glider. <clears throat> 3D9 with what looks like an N14. Wow. Yep. You don't see that every day. <clears throat> oh, green Kenworth. Kind of match and peak. That's pretty cool. Check out this trailer, how shiny it is. Oh my gosh, someone's been, someone's been doing some polishing. And this is a cool little old, um, I, I'm not gonna say what, it, it's a GMC. Is it a GMC? It is a GMC. I got it right, it's a GMC. Another old A model, that's a beauty. That's a good looking A model. <clears throat> Take a very closer look. From Ohio. Yeah, we got one. What? Yeah, that's nice. And we got a Scania in the house. What do you think of Scania's? They're pretty cool. It's, it's got ribs. That's kind of neat. <clears throat> yeah, Bruce Wilson's doing lots with Scania's. I have a feeling he's going to try and bring one over from Europe, but. Um, Another nice W9. And another one. And another one. This is pretty. Nice old 359. I like the, the bug deflector. That's the way they were in the old days. That's, that's how bug deflectors used to be like back in the 80s. That's cool. I like that. There's another good one. Haven't seen too many painted painted uh, hood surrounds, but this one is. 
You can tell she's a working truck. This green. I like the green with the pinstripe around the outside. That looks classy. Another W9. I love that green one though. There's a Canadiana Kenworth. Very cool. I think those must be old emblems because this truck is a 2022. I mean, there's like trucks everywhere. Look at this blue one. And the yellow one. But we gotta sneak over here because there's a come over. And this one has the Alcan cab on it that Dad was talking about. Because it's got the extra hood support. Or cab support, I guess. Which Dad said was not there. I mean, if anyone's going to know, Dad will know. It's got a little kitty cat in there. Now here's another cab over. I think this is the one that that he saw on the first day coming in. They didn't have a trailer hooked to it at the time. Dang, I would love to have a trailer that looks like this, but in our country it would not stay looking that nice very long. Wow. Look at that. That's nice. Swagging on a budget. Yeah, he's swagging on a budget all right. That looks good. The black and blue and orange. It's pretty cool. Very cool. I like it. Very cool. There we go. Check this one out. Hey, it's got the same slider as Smokey. No insert, which is nice, so it's not rust jacked. But yeah, it's the same slider as Smokey. That's a nice deck plate, the way it sits there like that. What we should do with Smokey is just pull the insert right out and leave it out. Yeah, I agree. is awesome like that you know how it comes down with the paint i think i'm gonna go straight across on smoky but this is the old double cab the big cab set forward easy way to tell the set forward is by the, the steps going in so yeah yeah There we go. The white A model. Just imagine if we put that other A model in. Uh... Oh. They do. That's cool. With the uh, suicide doors. Well, that's some work. That's wild. And a chop top. Holy cow. That's unreal. Giant pipes. Chopped roof. Can't even hardly see it. There's a swanky auto hauler. A little kitty cat. Look at the roof. It's got the flat top. 
That's very flat. Big cab company extended cab. Speakers on the outside, the all weather ones. Wow. Is that ever nice? Flat floor. Very cool. Full 389X. There are a lot of 389Xs here. There is, there is. Some more W900s. <clears> Had <throat> to be a 100th anniversary Kenworth, can tell by the paint job. This yellow one is nice. <clears throat> like, look at that girl surround. That's got to be stainless. Is that stainless? Must be. It's too shiny. It's way too shiny, and it's probably a 389. Yeah. It's a 389. The 379 looking grill. That's what it is. Look at this one. She's a pretty strayer. <clears throat> yeah, this one's a a new P389 with a it's very cool. Beautiful trucks. Like, look at this engine. Painted to match. That's pretty, pretty nice. Pretty red truck from Georgia. There's a song, something like that, isn't it? Down the road to Georgia. <clears throat> look at that. Oh, at this rate, your truck's never gonna be done. <laughs> That's nice. Oh, wow, I'm surprised. I guess, I guess that maybe does that sound like that. Oh, this is a cool one, too. Look at those wheels. Another X. That's just so impressive. The amount of work that goes into making them like that is a lot. A lot. Of course, we got Bo Cephas over here. Yeah, this one's been been on the channels. She's pretty, pretty wild. Look at that. It's hard to believe until you see it in person. Like. Like there's very few bolts you can see and lots of chrome. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Very impressive. <coughs> well guys, we're pooped out after day three. Three days at Mid-America is a lot of truck stuff. But uh, yeah. Shout out to everybody that uh, came to see me. I really appreciate it. Um, without you guys and your support, watching the videos, hitting the like button, um, I couldn't do what I do. Um, I'd still do it, but it'd be on a smaller scale. And all you guys that have your projects, go after your projects, good luck with them. And don't worry about if you don't have all the money right away. You just slow and steady and do it on a budget. Just like me, you know, you do it on a budget. You find, find the parts you can, reuse parts, do it yourself and save some money. But most importantly, have fun with your trucks. So thanks guys, we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> My feet are a little sore, not gonna lie. <sighs> now I gotta fly home. <sighs> and there's an airport here, but we flew into Nashville because WestJet, so. <laughs> it's all good though. Thanks guys, takes care, takes, takes cares. We'll see ya.